Lord and grace and peace to everyone. This is Pastor LaBelle and Daniel, and you're at Greater Emmanuel Apostolic Temple. I tell you, we are so excited about Jesus, and for such a time as this, God has caused us to be into the kingdom. We want you to now turn your eyes upon Jesus, look for him, look to him, uh, prepare your mind, open your heart, and expect a life-changing move of God for eternity because it is time to seek the Lord. We love you. Enjoy the worship. Enjoy the word and give God all the praise. God bless you. Incredible situations. We know that you are an incredible God and able to do exceeding and abundantly above all we can ask or think. Those that are in the nursing homes, Lord God. Those that are in prison walls, Lord God. Touch as only you can, Lord God. Come back here today, Lord God. Have your way in the service today, Lord God. Let someone go down in your precious name today, Lord God, and be filled with your precious gift today, Lord God. We ask him for a, a spirit of repentance for the backslider as well, Lord God, because there's still room, hallelujah, at the cross, Lord God. We pray as the pastor brings forth your word that you would use him in a mighty way, Lord God. Give us ears to hear what the spirit is saying, Lord God. And we'll be careful to give your name praise and the glory and the honor, Lord God, that's due unto your wonderful name. In Jesus' name, amen. Come on, let's give God a hand praise in the building. Hallelujah. Oh, that men would praise the Lord. I am so glad to be in the house of the Lord. And to those who are watching, welcome to our Greater Emmanuel Apostolic Temple Worship Experience. We're so glad that you are joining us today. So grab your families and let's worship together. Those of us who are here in the building, can we start this service with a mighty hallelujah? Come on, with a mighty song of praise. The song says, every praise is to our God. Every word of worship with one accord. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Come on, let's fill this atmosphere with praise. Hallelujah. Come on, Sister LeVon. Hallelujah.
him a great praise. I'm going to give him a mighty praise. Yeah. Every praise, every praise, every praise. I don't care what situation you're going through in your home, on your job, with your family, but give God the praise this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, I tell my body, sometimes my body doesn't feel like cooperating, but I tell my back, back, you're going to praise God today. Hallelujah. Let everything that happens, we're going to praise God on today. We're so excited about just seeing another day and our scripture reading will be the book of Ephesians chapter 6 verses 10 through 19 the book of Ephesians chapter 6 verses 10 through 19 the scripture reading will be read by Pastor Rudy Roussel this morning followed by our special prayer by Minister Warren Grievous but before we have our prayer there's a song that everyone knows that simply says, Waymaker. How do many know that God is a waymaker this morning? He's a miracle worker. He's a promise keeper. Hallelujah. Even through the situations that we're going through, God is still a waymaker. Worship with us this morning. Hallelujah. Glory.
my way, amen. We will work Promise keepers, keepers, lie in the dark, my God. That is who you are. Come on, give him a praise for being our way maker. Hallelujah. He's a promise keeper, he's a miracle worker. He's a heart fixer. He's a mind regulator. Hallelujah. He's everything we need this morning. God, we love you. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord, everyone. Hallelujah. You four mentioned scriptures. Ephesians chapter number 6, verses 10 through 19. Let us read. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand in the evil day, and having done all to stand, stand therefore, having your learns girded about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayers and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mysteries of the gospel. May the Lord add a blessing to the ears of his word. prayer time. Since the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violence, but the violent take it by force. If you have fear, it didn't come from Jesus. He came to give us life and peace and a sound mind. Perfect love cast out fear. We shall fear no man, but fear God. But Lord, we didn't approach you in the fear like the world. We're not scared of you because you are Father and you love us. And we love you too because you first loved us. So we entered into your gate with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise. We didn't come scared. We came because this is the house of praise and worship. We came to lift our voices. Hallelujah. And lift your name above all names. Hallelujah. Because at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow and every tongue should confess. Lord, so God, we sing, we dance. We lift our hands, we give praise, hallelujah, and we give thanks. So Lord, we pray for all those that are not here right now. Those on feeble knees, we ask you to strengthen the feeble knees, Lord God. Lord, send us all the word of wisdom and knowledge and understanding. We ask you, oh God, to anoint our pastor with a word that will break up all of the foul ground. We need a word, Lord God, in these last and these evil days that will strengthen us, encourage us, Lord God, to continue on, Lord God. Lord, we don't intend on turning back, so we look forward unto our King, hallelujah, for a word of wisdom and knowledge and understanding. Oh, Lord God, send your anointing. Hallelujah. It will destroy every yoke, every sickness, every disease, every snare, every trap. Lord God, let the singers sing. Let the praises praise and the worshipers worship in this house today. Give us free 
course, Lord God, to do your will. Give us liberty in this house, Lord God, and we'll forever give you the praise. And all the people say, Amen. All right, come on, let's give them a mighty praise in the morning. Hallelujah. Again, we want to welcome you to Greater Emmanuel Apostolic Temple Sunday morning worship experience. Out of the thousands of churches you could have tuned in and selected, you chose to worship with us. So those of us who are in the building, can we give a mighty shout out to those who are viewing? Come on, let them hear you. All right, give, come on, give them a shout out. Hallelujah. Now that was good. But let us all give God the greatest shout out we can give him this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We are so glad to be among those he called to wake up this morning. We do see we have some visitors from out of town and we wave to you this morning. The song simply says, the Lord is high above the heavens. How many know that? How many have that praise and testimony? Come on, put your hands together. Join in with the praise team as we give him a mighty praise. Hallelujah. Woo!
Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. From the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same, he's worthy. Jesus is worthy. He's worthy.
God, we love you today. We magnify you. We bless your high and holy name. And in the midst of all of our situations, you are still the supreme wonder. You are still the supreme God. You are still, hallelujah, the Alpha and the Omega. There's none like you in all the earth, and we bless you today. Hallelujah. Thank you for being on our right hand, and thank you for being on our left hand, and thank you for being on our front and our back and our side and our top and our bottom. Thank you for covering us. You are the Almighty, the All Wise. You are the absolute potentate. There's none like you in all the earth. God, how privileged we are to be called out of darkness into this marvelous light. How blessed we are to know who you are in your wonderful, wonderful, wonderful name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. As we offer our worship, hallelujah. Our propped up puny worship, hallelujah. Oh God, take it and make it what it should be. Take these feeble attempts of our heart, our breath, our body, oh God, our energy. Oh God, as a sacrifice willingly to honor you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let not one ounce of your word return void. Let your anointing, oh God, fill all space, break every yoke, destroy every chain and fetter. And we give you glory. We give you praise. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. As you deal with those that's watching, as you deal with those that's listening. Oh God, make the difference, make the difference, make the difference in their lives. Same way you're making the difference in our lives. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. God, we worship you. We worship you. Not like you and all the earth. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for another day another day's journey. Hallelujah. Strengthen now as only you can. Revive now as encourage now. Lift now as only you can. Help your boy now. And we give you great praise and shout. We give you all Psalms 
22 and verse 2 reads, Our feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. Ephesians 6, 11, put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand. Someone say, Lord, help me stand. Lord, help me stand. Hallelujah. Yeah. That we may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. The schemes. That's what that word means. The methodology. The evil intended plans. I was made aware this morning um, when I got here. I'm, I'm not a great news watcher because, you know, I don't really call it the news. I call it the blues. Because um, if you listen to it long enough, that's what it will give you. Praise the Lord. I was made aware of the shooter or shooters in Cincinnati. Hallelujah. As if we needed something else <laughs> to go on our plates. A shooter who has, what, shot 18 and killed four in different parts of the city. I had no idea when I first heard it that they think it is uh, collaborated or one person or whatever. Don't know who the shooter is. Whenever I hear of shootings now, one of the first things that I ask was, uh, was it a police shooting? And then when I'm told no, praise the Lord, I wonder why some of the folk that are marching against police shooting are still shooting themselves. I wasn't speaking in tongues. I think it is an atrocity of what some of our law enforcement people do. I think it is an atrocity. It's absolutely wrong. They're getting paid to do horrendous things that I hope is not a part of their job description, even though the problem is systemic. But what is more horrendous is the fact that most of the killings, and as I said last week, and I'm going to keep saying because you need to hear the truth, that all the people I've buried laid up here, they were killed by somebody that looked like them. And most times about something called dope, the herb of the field, if you please. They were down the street last night, which in late hours I called uh, uh, Deacon Wells, and I'm gonna go visit whatever that precinct is this week. Uh, because, unfortunately, in this world, trying to help people who don't want to be helped yes, is a waste of your time yes, unless God has called you to do it. Yes, Did you hear what I said? Yes, if God has not called you to do it, it's a waste of your time. But now there are certain people God has tasked and called to be in, oh my God, I'm all up in my sermon, hadn't even gotten there yet, in these places. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now I'm going to say something some of you may think is very ugly. It just came to me, hadn't thought of it before. All of the people that were protesting and marching, God did not call them to do it. Because some of them were protesting and marching for the right thing. You know, some of them were hired, 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 hired folk to do devilment. Amen. Amen. And we're living at a time where we have to be so careful with who we join ourselves to. Yes, Hallelujah! Woo, God. Thank you. Mm, that was sneak up on me. Hallelujah. Snuck up. Snuck up on me. And I'm saying all that to say you, you, you're not just anybody else. You are a chosen generation. You are a royal priesthood. You have been called out of darkness into marvelous light to show forth his praises. Yeah. Do, do you hear what I'm saying? Amen. 
I don't care how crazy the world gets or how emotional we get, we have another agenda. Good God Almighty. Oh, God Almighty. Help me today, Holy Ghost. Help me today, Holy Ghost. Uh, 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 we have to be equipped for the time at hand or else we will miss a golden opportunity to bring souls into the kingdom. Uh, you can't get so aggravated with what's going on Amen. that you miss your call and your direction. Yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. As I look out of my window on Wednesday as we were, you know, giving out the food and I had come back inside because I had some conference calls and all of that. And as I looked, praise the Lord, uh, as our ministers were there and other members were ministering out and all on the street and the people were coming in. I mean, they were coming in. Hallelujah. And, and, and do you know who I, I saw all kind of cars come again. Hallelujah. I saw SUVs. I saw hoopties. I saw Jaguars. Every description was coming in the lot saying they had a need. So that means it doesn't matter what you drive or where you live or where your address is, there could still be a need in your life. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Now let me tell you how deep I think God is. I think God can have somebody, mm -hmm, yes Lord, uh, oh God, living in Indian Hills, driving a Jaguar or the Jaguar's daddy, hallelujah. I think he can so orchestrate it that they would be embarrassed to go somewhere in their neighborhood, uh, hallelujah, to come all the way over here in the semi-hood, uh, hallelujah, to pick up some something that they need, uh, so that somebody can lay hands on their car or lay hands on them so that they can get a touch they have never had before. They would have never received some. That's how awesome I think our God is. He orchestrates the affairs of men, the high men, the low men, the rich men, the poor men, the black men, the white men, the blue men, the green men. God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you can ask or think according to the power that works in you. If you know how to connect yourself with him, he'll make you the head and not the tail. He'll use you for his glory. Woo! Woo! Somebody shout hallelujah. Oh my. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell somebody this is not a game. Oh, this is not a game. This is not a popularity contest. This is not the latest fraternity or sorority on the block. This is not a tosha. This is not a social club. Hallelujah. This is the blood walk, the blood kept, the blood bought, the blood washed. This is the ecclesia. This is the called out. We are the ones that God is calling for in these last and glorious days. And I know they're evil, but the God in you is greater than all the mess in the world. I know we can't talk. Uh, we got our mask on. Uh, but nudge somebody that you already know safe uh, or that you think safe. Uh, hallelujah. Say, do you know who you are? Uh, do, you, do you know who you are? Uh, do you know who you are? Uh, no, 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 no. Do you know who you are? Do you know what God has done for you? Do you realize? Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I feel something pushing me all down in my soul. Hallelujah. Ralph, I feel some pushing me. Good God Almighty. Well, glory, mm, mm, mm. glory, 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 glory. Wherefore, well, take unto you the whole arm. Hmm. Tell them somebody everything. I'm going to forget this. I'm going to say, happy birthday, Veronica. Praise the Lord. Minister Duke, happy birthday. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. hallelujah. You're not slipping out here because we got a birthday tomorrow. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Keep your mask on and praise God. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> hallelujah. Oh, God. The older I get, the more I want to be like Jesus. Huh? Lord, have mercy. I realize the older you get, the more Jesus you need. 
Do, do you hear what I said? I said the older you get, the more Jesus you need. Because when all of this stops working the way it's supposed to, only the God of glory can make it work anyhow. Only the God of glory can make, oh God, in the name, anybody, anybody over 70 know what I'm talking about. Hallelujah, it's Jesus in the morning, Jesus in the noonday, and Jesus when the sun go down. I know some of you still have your youth, and I don't remember how it is, but it's fleeting and it won't last. But Jesus, hallelujah, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hallelujah. You'll wake up one day and feel things you've never even know existed. Hallelujah. But you have to know in whom you have believed, and that he's able. Oh, yeah. God is able. Lord God Almighty. Oh. <laughs> Woo! Hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm trying to get to this scripture. I'm trying to get there. Lord, have mercy. Oh, Lord, God. Isn't that something? I, 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 I think uh, Spencer just told me to take my time. Now, that's a paradox all in itself. Hallelujah. For Spencer to tell anybody to take their time. When that's what all of us are always telling him, Spencer, take your time, hallelujah. But it all happens in the house of God, it's all good, praise the Lord. You take this whole armor so that you may be able to withstand. Withstand. It means to resist. That means to come against. Uh, when you're withstanding, in a sense, you're not just standing still, even if you're not moving. Mm -hmm. You need to hear that again. When you're withstanding something, you're not just standing still, even though physically you might not be moving. But the pressure, the, the stance, the, 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 the energy that you are exerting in your stance to withstand is exerting just as much energy sometimes as if you were running after someone because now you have all of this power in control and you're trying to harness it, hallelujah, so that you can be in place, oh God, to resist whatever pressure is coming up against you. If that's the way Job was when he was down in the ashes, uh, praying, uh, doing hardship worship. Uh, Moada, uh, that's the word. Uh, he was down there praying even though it looked like nothing was going on. Uh, but the boy had a warfare going on. Uh, sometimes people can't see your fight. Good God Almighty. And it doesn't mean uh, just because you're not swinging uh, like Muhammad Ali that you are not fighting. Uh, it means that in the spirit realm, uh, good God Almighty, you are like an avatar, if you please. Oh, God, you are saying, do this, Lord. Send an angel here, Lord. Knock that one out, Lord. Hallelujah. But you must be engaged. You must be connected. You must be in alignment. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah to God. Listen, listen, we're going to pray today, not this moment, we're going to pray today that the Lord arrest whatever this shooting demon is. Amen. The Lord, knock it down. Somebody say, knock it down, Jesus. Knock it down. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I don't know if they announced that one of the uh, individuals that was killed, that was murdered, uh, was uh, Sister Watson's nephew. Amen. Sister Watson's nephew, hallelujah. And we're praying for you, Sister Watson and John. Amen, amen, amen. All right, okay, you can sit down now, Spencer, I think. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, yeah. All right, I'm the speaker today, bro. Hallelujah. Listen, uh, you have to war. You, you, you have to war, saints. We're not living in joking times. Hallelujah. This is not pity pat, you know. No, no. This is the real deal. And if this is the beginning of sorrows, God help those. God help. God help. God help. 
that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, that's the third, third time, third time is used. He comes right back again, stand therefore. His me. One of your root words for stand in the New Testament. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It covers almost any kind of standing. It's very broad. And then he goes on to tell us to stand now and he tells us how to stand, you know, with that armor on, uh, loins girt about with truth. I want to take you now all the way to Ezekiel to get to where I'm going to, Lord, look at the time we're going to worship today and it's almost time for y'all to leave. Hallelujah. On Ezekiel 22 and 30. And I sought for a man among them that should make up the hedge and stand in the gap before me for the land, somebody say for the land. For the land. That I should not destroy it. But I found none. <laughs> Who's qualified? If I got up and said, I'm looking for a man to stand in the gap in Finnetown, in Blue Ash, in Avondale, in Over the Rhine, I'm looking for somebody to stand in the gap to make up a hedge so that the land would not be destroyed. Is there anybody here? Love my Jesus. Anybody here loves my Lord? I want to know if you love my Jesus enough to stand in the gap. I want to know if you love my Lord, stand up and say that I love my Jesus. Stand up and say that I love my Lord. I'm standing to say I love my Jesus. I'm standing to say that I Keep on standing in the gap enough to say I'm going to stand in the gap. <laughs> Keep on standing in the gap enough to say I'm going to stand in the gap. Glory to God. You may be seated. You may be seated. You may be seated. Listen. Hashtag gap dwellers. Hashtag still standing in the gap. Hallelujah. You know, I thought about it. It's wonderful to have on all the armor. Uh, and it's wonderful to be able to stand. Uh, but if you don't stand, what have you accomplished? Uh, it's wonderful to get all dressed up. Uh, hallelujah. And even have somewhere to go. Uh, but if you don't go, uh, hallelujah. Uh, you're just having a virtual situation. Uh, well, I know we're having virtual church. Uh, but the devil is not virtual uh, and the hell that's being raised all over the place is not virtual. Uh, them guys down the street, uh, they are not virtual. Uh, they're just as real as you and I. Uh, uh, hallelujah. Uh, they're just as real as I am. Uh, hallelujah. So therefore, uh, it's going to take real warfare. Uh, it's going to take real prayer. Uh, it's going to take real fasting. Uh, it's going to take real holy living uh, in order to stand against the wiles of the devil. My God, 
up uh, when you look here in Ezekiel, uh, all of those verses coming up to this one, uh, where he says he was looking for a man. Uh, my God, uh, he tells us uh, that the church, uh, I mean the children of Israel, uh, were in a mess. Uh, they were doing everything wrong. Uh, the priests were wrong. Uh, the prophets were wrong. Uh, my God, uh, they were taking advantage of each other uh, and doing the Despicable things, uh, and God was so upset with them. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, sometimes I wonder, uh, hallelujah, uh, how pleased the Lord is uh, with some of the shenanigans uh, that even come up in the house of God. Uh, we get off task, uh, we get off duty, uh, we get off assignment, uh, hallelujah, uh, and start playing games with one another uh, while the world is going to hell in a handbasket. Uh, well, I want to tell you today, uh, the Lord is saying to us, uh, who is able to stand? Uh, who will make up the head? Uh, who will be a go-between? Uh, who will get in the middle uh, of the mess uh, for my glory? Uh, who will call down? Uh, hallelujah. Uh, the power of God. Uh, who will be uh, an intercessor? Uh, who will make uh, the difference? Uh, who will save a soul? Uh, who will be used uh, to speak a word to someone uh, that's weary in their way? Uh, who can God send? Uh, who can God use? Uh, who can God assign? Uh, who can God anoint? Uh, who can who can God bring out? Who can God delegate? Who can God sing? Who can God trust? Hallelujah! 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 Arm yourselves likewise! Arm yourselves likewise! Hallelujah! The kingdom is suffering violence in the name of Jesus! But guess what? We've got an awesome Savior. We've got someone who has equipped us in all spiritual blessings. Equipped us to be able to stand. Equipped us with the word. Covered us with the blood. Infused us with the spirit. And he's able to use it to the animals. Hallelujah. 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 It's time! It's time! Glory! Woo! My God, I'm going to read these and quit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And go on, read some birthday something. Thank you, Jesus. Standing in the gap. If y'all want to take some notes, put these down. Gap. G A P. Standing in the grace, the anointing, and prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Second Timothy. We just read about being strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Second Timothy, second chapter, verse one. Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. Now, not only do you have to be strong in the Lord and the power of his might, you have to be strong in the grace of God. God, let me tell you something. The stuff that has come up against some of us and that will come up against many of you in these last and wonderful days, you're going to need some grace. You're going to need some extra, 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 extra stuff from God because the devil ain't playing and Jesus ain't either. But unless you are connected, you won't understand understand how abundant grace is. You think that grace is just something uh, that gets you out of trouble. Baby, uh, that's gravy grace. Uh, hallelujah. But when you get down in the bowl of it, uh, it is that favor that God gets you, gives you uh, to wade into situations uh, that you don't even understand, uh, that you don't even want to deal with. Uh, he gives you grace. Uh, it comes with ability. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, and fortitude. Uh, to keep it moving, uh, to keep standing, uh, to keep going. Hallelujah. Strong. Woo, 
He a grace preacher. Folk need to hear, sir. They don't even know what a grace preacher is. If somebody is really preaching the kind of grace that the Bible talks about, he's not preaching low living. He's preaching high living. Hallelujah. Grace is not an excuse for you to sin and do what you want to do. That's the problem that we have in our world. The spirit of the world says, I can do what I want to do. That's not completely true. Well, let me put it this way. You can do what you want to do if you want to. You might not be satisfied or happy or pleased with the results you get. Because you have been bought with a price. Your life is not your own. Even though God gives it to you, he expects you to give it back. It's not in man to direct his own path. That is so dangerous. And there's something in our DNA causes us to have a proclivity and a propensity to do evil, to think off rather than on. To see you in trouble and say, uh-huh, good form. I was wondering when it was going to catch up with them. You better wonder when it's going to get up with you. Mm. Mm. There's something about man. It's in every race. It's in every creed. It's in every color. You can read history and see that. Then there's something about man that seeks to worship his creator. When they're ignorant and don't know, they make up gods and they make up things. We talked about that. How they would, didn't want to miss any god, so they made a statue to an unknown god. God so equipped us that even though he knew the negativity of our carnal and natural selves would be present and try to manifest itself in the world. He made provisions for us before the foundation of the world that we could have a relationship with him and a power that would bring down anything our flesh tried to bring up and out. We were on a prayer call Monday. And the lesson was, uh, it was a preacher prayer call. All those preachers on there. And the lesson was dealing with temptation. Shallow. And uh, Elder Free orchestrates this. And after the call was over, I said, boy, I'm going to beat you, make me bring up all the memories, hallelujah. You don't go through this life walking with God free of temptation and aggravation. Those who have reached that nirvana, you know, see me after church and I'm going to get something from you, blood or something, sweat, and I'm going to bottle it up, praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. yeah, you, don't, you don't make it through. You, you are tempted. You are tested and you are tried. Can I get an amen from the sanctified folk? Yeah. But what happens is because of 
the grace of God and the goodness of God and our relationship with God and the covering of his blood and the infusion of his word and the surrounding of his power and the anointing of the Holy Ghost, when they come, we are not alone and they don't do us the way they would have done us, those temptations and trials, if we did not have him. Can somebody say hallelujah? My God. Oh my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. I have a bunch of these gaps here that I won't even try to do all of them. But one of them, the P is for power. I'm sorry, for pain. And, 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 and in that one, hallelujah, I said that pain is an opportunity to increase your power. Good God Almighty, whenever God brings pain, he's setting you up to have more power. Power of endurance, power of overcoming, power of sometimes speaking to the pain and watch the pain disappear and go somewhere. God gives an opportunity for you to be more engaged with him even when he brings pain. One of the P's uh, is also, uh, I'm sorry, one of the G's in the gap uh, is grief. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, the scripture says, when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to a rock that is higher than I am. Uh, when God brings grief our way, uh, and most of us in here are dealing with it one way or the other. Right now, today, we've had what we say, our share of grief. Uh, I don't want no more grief right now. Uh, in fact, I don't want no more grief, period. Uh, but I know that's a way of life. Uh, but when you are in grief, uh, that is when God steps in and he will carry you. That is when he will turn your morning into dancing. That is when he will turn your midnight. That is when the weeping may endure for a night, but the joy does come in the morning. And with God, morning can be any time of the day. It doesn't have to be 6 a.m., 7 or 8 a.m. Morning could be 3 in the afternoon. Because when God says it's enough, it's enough. When God wants to bring joy, there is no sorrow that can hold him back. When God wants to put a smile on your hurting face, there is no muscle that can keep it down. He's able, he's able, he's able. Hallelujah. So the second gap is goodness, alignment, and purpose. Lord, have mercy. I gotta be aligned with him. Hallelujah. And the goodness speaks of God's nature. It is God's good nature that works against our negative DNA. Now I know there are positive things in our DNA also. Hallelujah. Because when you get born again, you get another set of DNA. Hallelujah. The D is for delivered. The N is for never going back. And the A is for anointing. And once you get that Holy Ghost DNA, you can then get in alignment. And we have to get in alignment because his thoughts are not our thoughts. And we need to make our thoughts his thoughts. And his ways are not our ways. And we have to make our ways his ways. Good God Almighty. And the P in that group is for praise. Once you get new DNA, once you get in alignment with him, you can offer him some pure praise. You can offer him some powerful praise. And that's what God will do. Well, another good God Almighty. Let me go back to the one with grief. Grief, authority, hallelujah, and purpose. My God, once you let God bring you out, bring you out of a situation of grief, he can then show you all the authority that you have. He has given us power over all of the power of the adversary. And a lot of that power is authority power where he just gives you the right to talk back to the devil. He gives you the right to put him in his place. It gives you the right to, to refuse all the mess he tries to bring you. He gives you the right to, to say stop. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. And the purpose is that I have been called to the kingdom for such a time as this. Even in a COVID situation, God has purpose from the foundation of the world that I would be alive and remaining to this day to deal with whatever he allows to come my way. You are 
I'm not alone up in here, up in here. And you are not alone out there, out there. The God of glory is still walking with you. If you come to the garden alone, while the dew is still on the roses, you will find the joy there that you tarry there that none has ever known. Good God Almighty, hallelujah. I went through a bunch of songs dealing with stand because I wanted to get it in your spirit. God wanted it in your spirit that you are a gap dweller today, that he has brought you to the kingdom to make a difference in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And I got about eight more gaps that I won't get to. But let me tell you about my song list that you can use this week. Lord God, my mind went all the way back from my childhood at Springfield AME Church and Magnolia Baptist Church. And that was a song that all the choir sang Call I'm standing in the safety zone. Hallelujah. How many know that besides me and Diane? All right. It says I'm standing in the safety zone. Sometimes I have to stand alone when all my friends deceive me and cause me to weep and mourn. I'm standing in the safety zone. And if you want to get to heaven, you better step in the safety zone. Good God Almighty. I was trying to find who wrote that song. I thought it was Roberta Martin. And then I found out last night when I went online that the Fairfield Forum got nominated for a Grammy on that. That the lead singer of the Fairfield Forum is the father of Suffolk and Bishop Mike Cooper. Mr. Robert Hamlet. I called Mike. I said, Mike, did your daddy didn't write that song? He said, I don't know. So we began to try to do some more research. I thought how powerful it is that a song that old still has premise today. There is a safety zone that you can stand in. There is a place that God will cover you. There is an area that God tells the devil no trespassing. Hallelujah. You got a little more. You got to get a little shot. You got to know that God sets the boundaries. You got to know that God sets the limit. You got to know He covers you. And He will not allow you to be tempted. A boat that you're able to bear. He'll keep you standing in the midst of a storm. He'll keep you standing. Even if you think you're standing, He'll keep you standing. Oh, 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 so I left years ago, and I jumped all the way up to the present, and I came to the Lady of Shabbat, and y'all had a song by Mr. Ty Trevitt that said, stand now. We're living in a day when so many in the church don't want to stand out. They want to blend in. Shame on you. Hallelujah. God has called you out. God has separated you. God has sanctified you. And everybody is not an undercover agent. Everybody is not in espionage. Hallelujah. There needs to be a difference in righteousness and unrighteousness and clean and unclean. That's why God couldn't find nobody here. God Almighty with Ezekiel. He said you're acting just like the world. The preacher was cheating. Good God. Almighty, but God is calling for us to stand up. You are Holy Ghost EMS, EMT. Folks are running to an accident, they're having an emergency. They need to be able to identify you. I'm not just talking about how you look. That's is important. I'm talking about what's inside, what's radiating outside. <laughs> Tell somebody to stand out. Mm. 
the next song. Dr. Daryl Cook. You can do all of this because you're standing on the promises of Jesus. I said, we're standing on the promises of Jesus. And we believe he'll do what he says. Yeah. No more doubts or disbelief causing ourselves to be grace.
make a choice. After you're done. After you've gone through the pain, gone through the rain. You cried and you prayed. Prayed and you cried. Call on Jesus. Sometimes it seems all night long. After you've done all you can, you just stand. Before all of those songs, everyone stand. <laughs> I'm getting ready to stand up with you. We're going, to, we're going to pray. But before all of those songs, there was an old hymn. Men's choir, the voices of a man used to sing a version of it. Stand up, stand up for Jesus. All ye soldiers of the cross, lift high his royal banner. Listen to the next line. It must not suffer loss. Stand up. Stand up for Jesus. Can you imagine that whole nation that God had worked all of those miracles for? And they had all become so polluted so infiltrated that God could not find anybody to stand in the gap. They were worse than Sodom and Gomorrah because at least Lot was there. I mean, God still destroyed the city. But let us learn from these patterns. These things shows us the keeping power of God, of what your presence as a saint of God does in the earth. You are a keeper. That's a property of salt. You preserve the earth. Hallelujah! Because your God's on. You are a preserver, oh God. Even in pain, hallelujah, you are sought to get the soreness out. But if you don't stand in the gap, who's going to know all that God has done in your life? Anyone want to come to the altar and get ready to pray and go home? If you're here and you need salvation, if you need to be buried in the name of Jesus, Renee, if you'd come and sing, stand, I appreciate it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Both of y'all can sing and pray the Lord. Y'all do it. What do you do? Father, we love you. 
you now. Lord, we're standing on your promises. We're standing on your word. We're standing by your power. We're standing covered by your blood. We're standing through the anointing of the Holy Ghost. We're standing, hallelujah, because we have been commanded to stand. And we're standing in agreement, God. And we're asking you today, hallelujah, to send whatever is necessary to knock this shooter down, stop him, silence him in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we want and we're asking for a right now, a right now intervention in the spirit realm. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We cast that demon out to, to the pits of hell that it came from in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, we have enough connection. We have enough faith. We have enough with you, God. Hallelujah. To believe earnestly in our hearts. Oh, God, that you are in the midst of handling this situation. In the name of Jesus. And now, I God, I'm asking you, for those watching, for those that are in the house, God, help us stand in these last and incredible days. Help us to make up the head. Help us to be in the gap. Help us to make a difference. Help us, oh God, to find out what you want us specifically to do in the kingdom. And we thank you for victory. We thank you for victory in the name of Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. God bless you today. This time, if you would prepare to leave, we leave in order so that we won't congregate. God bless you. We love all of you so very much. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, Greater Emmanuel. Please join us for a morning worship. Doors open at 1030 a.m. And we are following all of the COVID-19 safety protocols. Morning worship begins at 11 o'clock a.m. If you are not physically attending, the morning worship will be aired on Facebook. Tune into our weekly Bible class at 7 o'clock p.m. via our church conference call number or view on Facebook Live. On Mondays, the men will have prayer at 8 o'clock p.m. via Zoom, but this is open to everyone. For the Zoom information, contact Calvin Gentry. All teens, the ages of 11 through 18, guess what? We have Pulse for you, 6.30 p.m. via Zoom. For that information, contact Jesse and Shanice Short. On Wednesdays, tune in to Bishop Daniel, WCVG, 1320 a.m., 5 o'clock p.m. for Back on the Road Again. And on Thursdays, tune in to Bishop Daniel's broadcast, O oh, Taste and See, 11 o'clock a.m., WGRI. On Saturdays, please join us for Sunrise Prayer, 7 o'clock a.m. via our church conference call number. We know that the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much. Please join us every third Saturday of the month at 11 o'clock a.m. for our grief support meeting. We invite everyone to please join us via Zoom. So many of us are experiencing loss and we encourage you to attend. We have guest speakers, licensed counselors, and facilitators. Well, everybody should go to Sunday school. It is the best school in the country. Listen, tune in via Zoom. The ID and password can be found on the screen. We want to see each of you at our Zoom Sunday school. Be blessed, stay rapture ready, and have a wonderful, wonderful week. I told you God was going to bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for sharing this time with us. Tell a friend next time and join us or do a watch party together, something like that. We can't wait to get back with you. We are expecting the Lord to continue to give revelation, to bring word and insight, to help you have a better day every day as you're on your way to eternity. Got a great lineup of preachers around here. They're going to be knocking the house down and let the old man sit back and rest. See ya. God bless you.